my name is Jonathan. I moved to San Luis Obispo with my wife and two kids the day after Christmas last year on uh, December 26th. And here's a little bit about who I am and my story. Uh, I'm Greek Orthodox, grew up in the Greek Orthodox Church. I uh, was an altar boy, uh, went every every Sunday, participated in all the, the Greek festivals and went to Greek school and kind of somewhere along the line for me, going to church became more about the culture and the tradition than it was about God. And um, as I grew older, the um, kind of the level of, of, my, of my faith became more uh, superficial without me even realizing it. There was a moment a couple of years ago when someone close to me said something uh, insulting about God and about Jesus. And it was really upsetting to me. And I didn't know what to, what to say or how to respond. And in hindsight, part of, I think, what that anger in me was, was more of a, a disappointment in myself for not really knowing more about my faith than I, than I did. So that caused me to kind of go on a, on a journey where I started doing some research and reading books and studying, you know, apologetics at kind of a, um, a very early kind of entry level and learned a lot about, you know, the, the different proofs and evidences and arguments for the existence of God. And I became more confident in my ability to explain and defend uh, God, you know, again, from like an academic level but not necessarily from like a, a, a deeper, more spiritual type experience. After we had moved here, 2020 has been a, a wild year. You know, two months after we're here, the pandemic begins. Two months after that, George Floyd happens. And you find yourself kind of in this, in this world where, you know, you're not sure where, which direction to go in. And you're finding yourself looking for Kind of a, something to ground you and you see injustice but you also recognize um, you know not to not to cast blame against entire groups and you're searching for answers and in that moment I, I asked myself you know how would Jesus handle this what would he do and I and I started you know going back to the Bible and I discovered Slow City Church started listening to uh, some of their sermons and podcasts and found that it was Kind of very relatable in a like a present day um, type way where you could take scripture and take the Bible, this ancient document, you know, two thousand years old and older, and apply it to to life in twenty twenty. And uh, I was back in Michigan in July and went out for a jog, which is something I do maybe twice a year, <laughs> and uh, was listening to to one of the sermons. And this sermon was about happiness and joy. And I'll never forget it. The moment when the sermon switched and started to talk about joy. The house immediately to my right had a four foot tall sign that said joy in, in huge letters on it. And uh, I was moved. I was very moved by that experience. And uh, right there in front of that house, I, I dropped to my knees, said a prayer and uh, recommitted my life to Christ. And haven't looked back since. It's it's interesting, you know. Everyone's always asking, and you're always thinking about, you know, where is God? You know, how is he? How is he present here today? And if you if you know to look, he's everywhere. You just got to open your eyes to it, and you can dismiss everything as coincidence, or you can accept it as God trying to break into your life. And, and here I am. Ever and then I sent Brent an email. Just had to share my experience with him. Didn't know who I was, but I knew him. And uh, been coming to Bible study every week ever since then. So that's my story. Mm -hmm.